Hi, Saggies, and happy holidays to each and every one of you. Okay, let's see what's going on. For this read is for Saggy Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. December 2024. Okay, I'm using the Past Life Oracle. Let's see what karmic thread we're working on in this lifetime from another. Okay, so first thing, health is wealth. What we ingest, we are what we eat, basically, right? Some of you have been nurses, midwives, I heard, um, caregivers, either in this lifetime or in a past life. Of course, this is the Kundalini rising in addition to what you're dealing with. So some of you have been working on opening your chakras um, in order to ascend to higher consciousness. Some of you are, are afraid of snakes or, you know, some of you have snake, little snakes as pets. I heard what we fear we add here. <laughs> All right, let's just keep that on the back burner because that's the thread of, you know, eating your vegetables, detoxing for some. These things are innately threaded into your system as knowing that you drink enough water, you get enough rest. It's all about keeping your body, your temple in perfect order mind, body, and soul. Okay, let's see what's going on. Saggies. Okay, well, these just flew out, or actually turned around. So, three of wands with the ace and the knight of swords. So, I'm going to say that it seems to me like with um, someone coming back in, it's it's looks like this with the center the center piece oh center piece someone has a beautiful center piece for the holidays the center piece of knowing someone for some of you knowing someone wants to return they have something to tell you it could be vital information that will help you to either close the chapter and move on or just understanding better, get gain a better understanding of where you stand and or stood in, in uh, hindsight of something that you're, someone who you've been dealing with and or are still dealing with, right? It depends. We have Aries, um, Leo Sag, another Aries, Leo Sag, or a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So this is about the the concise clarity that's needed from whatever has happened clarity needed um and or to gain more wisdom and knowledge and understanding so that you can propel yourself forward and move on but something is holding you back in terms of, or holding someone back in terms of what they may really want to say, may really want to tell you. We're going to dive into that. They want me to look at the bottom. Someone is needing to eat more grapes <laughs> and maybe for some less wine. It depends, right? Maybe someone, okay, I'm hearing, I'm hearing someone was trying to not drink as much or is now drinking too much. Someone could have gotten off 
um, you know, the program. Let's say they're in AA or something and they're back to drinking. Just saying, you may hear news of someone revisiting or, you know, slacking off. They're back to drinking again. And slacking off in the sense of, you know, it's the holiday season. It is difficult around this holiday not to enjoy yourself. Some of you, this is just pure enjoyment of gathering friends and family together for the holidays. But it's also, it is a picture of kind of someone in a mad fit of joy. Some of you are dealing with someone who is pretending to be happy, but truly is not. This is a time of the, there is definitely with the planets in retrograde as they are um, a time of review, a time of reassessing and, and needing the closure, you know? We're gonna go back to this, hold on. I put it over here, you can't see it, but I, I'll put it right here. We're gonna go back to that in a minute, but let's just, Let's get more to the storyline here that I'm going to put this up here. Okay. Just so you can see the cards and let's get more to the story with, with what we are dealing with in terms of what you're dealing with. Okay. All right. Let's see. Sagis. So. Some of you are kind of waiting for the right time. You're waiting for the right time. You may also be waiting for someone to change their mind. Someone may want to be, oh, wow, look at that. The Ace of Pentacles with the Ace of Wands. Someone just got into a new love relationship. It could be someone revisiting a past relationship, but I feel that some of you let the past go because it wasn't um, all that you thought it would be. I feel that someone else was revisiting. So it could be you, Sagi. You could have gotten into a relationship, a past relationship, right? So you got into a past relationship but the person that you got involved with is either at a distance from you and or is, is still involved with maybe someone else. That makes a big difference. So you've now, for some, conceded to say goodbye and farewell to that relationship and you have brought in a new relationship that you're going to share with one another your stories, right? That's what we do. We, we share stories. We learn about one another's pain, what we've been through. And that's what you're doing with perhaps, Sagi, a new love relationship. You're getting to know someone literally from a perspective and sharing similar stories. I mean, that's how like attracts like. You may now be attracting someone who's very much a connection for you that is of like sound and like minded as well as the pain of a past relationship ending because of an ex and not being able to move on is both your stories. Right? Yeah. So someone has definitely a lot of they have learned a lot right you could be dealing with um truly you could be dealing with virgo taurus capricorn gemini libra aquarius so we've learned a lot through this experience right we've learned a lot we don't want to repeat right most of us when we get into relationships we don't want to repeat the same old, same old, because then what would, you know, 
where's the growth, right? Where's the learning? So you're taking it slow. You are. There's a lot of um, chemistry here. There is chemistry here. So you kind of want to just go slow, but you also know that you're on the right path now. I feel like you have you have the stability. You are finding your roots once again in terms of a relationship. I feel someone is very is very conscious. You're you and or this maybe Virgo Taurus Capricorn. You're really conscious of what's happened that you've learned so much. See, it's like, it's like this. We could close up relationship after relationship and we could learn a whole lot about what, what didn't pan out, you know, so that we can learn and move on, right? And while we're moving on, we, we do become attracted to similar people with similar pains so that we if we haven't learned what we needed to learn that that attachment or getting into a new relationship will bring it out again however if we get to a point where we look back at what we've been through only to look forward in terms of now stable more grounded and understanding what it is that we want from a more realistic and honoring the chemistry and honoring that part of the newness of a relationship, but also being vitally aware that we don't want to revisit the old. We can talk about what we've been through so that we can learn and teach and or tell our story to another, a new love. But that, we don't want to like overdo it. We don't want to overdo our welcome when we're meeting someone who has similar pains of their past. But the important part here is have we learned have, are we able to discern and understand that we're not going to take it with us? It's just for viewing what has happened already. And both of you have gone through it. It's right here. So the eye of God, right? God has put two people together who have really been kind of had wake up calls the wake up call was to understand not to repeat that part of your history with another don't take what you take what you've learned but don't repeat what you haven't learned so two people come together sharing your stories about you know getting kicked to the curb feeling deceived feeling left out feeling unworthy unwanted there are going to be for some of you there could be triggers triggers of instances where you're going to be like oh wait a second uh that just hit a nerve that's a trigger right that hit, that really hit hit a nerve with me. So someone's story and your story or both is going to really hit a nerve for you to be more cognizant of, to be aware of so that you don't repeat. See, look at that. Virgo Taurus Capricorn's reversed. So Virgo Taurus Capricorn could have been a relationship from your past. 
and or I'm going to tell you that this Saggy is connected to a father figure. A father figure whom I'm just going to say it. I feel like the, if this is your story, the father figure who drinks too much. Wow, look at this. Right here. Look at this. Look at this. So, if you have felt, oh my God, these cards just keep going. Oh my God, one more. I can't only hold, I can't, I can't, seriously, look. Okay, so this is what's going down. You have been dealing with a Virgo Taurus Capricorn, for many of you, who's a father figure, who you're very close to but has a drinking issue and or problem where uh, you as the child, Saggy, have had to witness or someone drinking. The painful truth of maybe a divorce as well of someone's drinking issues, problems. Um, maybe this is your mother and father who have divorced and dad's back to drinking. It is a father figure here, reversed. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We have really all the signs. We have Earth, we also have Leo and Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? So this is someone that you love dearly. A father figure could also be a soulmate for sure. Okay, and then when I look, here we go. So it's as though you have been dealing with someone who's been very much trying to do their inner work, but there has been a lapse, a relapse of relapse. Sorry, that's what that is. It's a relapse where they, they you know, it's uh, the holiday season is putting them back in this fold of, I don't, you know, feeling sorry for themselves. I don't, it, things don't add up. I don't add up. Am I not good enough? How am I feeling about myself, right? For some of you, this is you where you had to deal with a painful truth, right? Of what, up till now you've been dealing with. And this Virgo Taurus Capricorn could be you as a father, a father figure, trying to set a new course for your life, right? And you are doing so, but in the midst of, in the midst of the story that you're telling this new person, comes, comes really a lot of pain. You have three of swords upright twice. So that's double up, you know, uh, you're still really trying to gain insight into how to take responsibility for what you have had to go through and un have undergone, but also what, a f what your father figure meant to you is huge, Saggy, right now. And this doesn't need to be drinking, but it is with cups. But it also could mean any sense of um, addiction, anything that um, anything that will uh, change your demeanor, right? Trying to avoid. So these are still things that you're working on. And your story is going to be very important for someone else to hear and or their story in order for you to understand it, right? So let's just say you're the, you're the one of the, ch the children of this father, right? Maybe you're a child in this father, but this is your father, right? This is a father figure and there's 
maybe others involved, right? Older kids involved. And someone has been really doing well, but then went back on, you know, kind of got out of trying to get out of their addictions, but relapsed back into the addiction. Kind of, I'm hearing as quick as they, as quick as they were, they were announcing that they're free of alcohol. Let's just say you use that as the toxic um, addiction, say, say it is alcohol. As soon, as quick as they were to say, I'm alcohol free, they also went back to drinking or whatever addiction is, is what they, whatever addiction it is that they went back and this has you broken hearted. So if it's not a significant other, be that a soulmate in relationship, it's, it's a significant person in your life. Who's a father figure who's a father, it could be a stepfather, whatever, uncle even, brother, whatever, right? Who has caused, you know, who has, who, who tends to oversell, someone who oversells themselves because they don't feel like they can fit in without the addiction. I hope that makes sense. That's what I heard spirit say. See, look at, I'm not kidding. Yeah. This is someone who feels like, feels very, it feels very foreign when they're not drinking. They don't know how to be themselves if they're not, let's say if it's alcohol or whatever kind of drug of choice per se. And Sagis, you're looking in, for some of you, you're either involved in this or you're looking into this as, wow, you know, it's a setback. So someone doesn't feel like themselves, you know, without it. And really and truly has been already, there have been um, family members, if you're the family member or and or spouse um, that have been dealing with this too. This is very difficult to deal with when someone is out of their, out of their, um, circle of comfort, shall we say. Someone is very much out of their comfort zone when it comes to, you know, what they, they've always been doing this. They've always been this alive, vivacious, you know, uh, smart, intelligent, you know, um, uh, creative person who's very dynamic, right? This could be very much you but only under the influence for some. And then, you know, what happens? The, bot the bottom drops out. You hit the bottom. Someone gets their highs and lows. It's like a high and low period. So in order for them to feel like themselves, they have to stay on that high per se. And that causes a lot of and has caused a lot of pain and heartache. And even for some, separation and or divorce. So we don't, we don't wanna knock anyone who's, who's relapsed. There's no reason for that. So if it's you, then this isn't, this is something that extremely speaks to your health. This is why for many, your health is of utmost importance. You know, that could very well be that you're coming into this fold as someone who's already gone through it, you know, so many times, or someone has, right? 
And it's really hard for someone who feels like they can't be themselves, they can't move on without that addiction, without that relationship. That holds, um, that holds an addictive, kind of an addiction as well of being in a relationship and being very complacent and not maybe being happy, but it's better for some, it's better than nothing. The Holy Spirit of this gray hawk has come to you and or to another as there's, it is their spirit totem animal. Someone has also a lizard and or as a pet and or right now this person feels, or you do for sure, feeling very lucky that you have found someone who may really truly understand the pain that you've been dealing with about your addictions and or the addictions that of your father. Right, no judgment. I feel if you are, you have been given or this father figure has been given chance, chance, many chances to see the error of their ways. I have Leo here again. Could be a Leo sun sign that you're dealing with with a Virgo Taurus Capricorn, perhaps Virgo as a moon and or rising. Look at that, Virgo. Yeah, Virgo moon. So this definitely makes me feel like a father figure. And Sagis, maybe your addiction of choice is not, let's say, alcohol, but something else. Who knows? But health is wealth. So this also in, is incorporated into the fold of this, this Virgo Taurus Capricorn reversed and the Ace of Pentacles is someone continues to try to make, you know, something work, right? Like, I'm going to start over. I'm going to, it's a new day. I'm going to start new. It's going to happen um, with, with a lot of groundedness and understanding. But to no avail, they go back to their complacent space, which unfortunately is all about human behavior. So you're witnessing this and or part of it, and it is bringing you back to your childhood self, where that was maybe, you know, when you were a kid, Saggy, you tell me, comment below, when you were a kid, maybe your parents were always arguing about the alcohol as being an addiction and you overheard it time and time again and you made this this wish that if you wished anything on one of your like maybe your eighth birthday was for your parents to not fight anymore about alcohol and or could be money but slight just about someone's addiction and your you might have wished upon a star to to for your father to stop drinking I mean, do we ever tell our parents that we wished that they would come to terms with their addiction, their addictive behaviors, because it has imposed a huge, a huge wound that connects in your life to theirs, with theirs. And we... We don't want to get to a point, and I'm going to say it, we don't want to get to a point where we lose, we, we feel like less love for another because what we want to do, Sagi, if you are the child of the father I'm speaking of, or if you are the father and going, looking 
your history of when you were a kid, your father, we don't we don't want to say that we have less love. Have you, I guess, is what I should ask, right? Have you and do you feel less love based upon someone relapsing and or yours? I just saw the devil too. So, see, someone's really stuck and they don't know. Maybe it's you. You're stuck not being stuck in that childhood of wounding. Wanting to be free of it, but it seems to override, literally override your your life because it's threaded in your genes, your, you know. So this is how it happens, you know. I'm just using alcohols as an, ex as an example um, of one addiction because of all these cups, but I will say that it does jump a generation. So if it has jumped in your, in live with your time, your life right now, as the child, let's say, you it might have jumped your generation, but you still you still see and observe the struggle. It's real. And maybe as many times as you've tried to help, tried to talk, it hasn't helped. And that indeed could be the reason why you're feeling, you know, like it's not helping. And sometimes, right, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. <laughs> and that's, <laughs> that's funny. Spirit's funny. A mother. Libra Taurus. So, a mother could be out of the picture in terms of this could be your mother, that your mother and father got divorced because of this addiction. You could be the father and the, also divorced because of addictive behaviors, etc. Yeah. Not someone hides. Someone could have very well been hiding their truth in terms of, well, I've still been drinking, but I never told anyone. I relapsed, but I didn't want people to know. Maybe it became really obvious over like Thanksgiving holiday. But we do have a mother that's really out of the picture, but still imposes wisdom. She's very wise, right? But she's not in the picture. So she imparts her wisdom of what she's been through to you as perhaps a child. And if you are dealing with a divorce, your divorce, then this is you trying to come to terms with how, you, how you're dealing with someone else's behavior or someone dealing with yours. you definitely could be the child of a mother and father who had issues, have had issues, divorced because of addiction, and now you're in the same boat. And not wanting to have, oh, there it is. Okay, so this is all about addictions. This is about, right? The devil made me do it. The holiday season's around the corner, has been already started. And these, this is the true, the truth of the whole situation is the addictions of others and self. And to look very clearly and see it very clearly. And are you? Saggy, understanding that 
you could be very much meeting people to help heal with your addictions and or you're the child of parents who went through this and now your addiction or your spouse or ex is the same issue. I think I already said that. They wanted me to. Cancer Pisces Scorpio reversed. So you don't, you don't want to harbor. So on one hand, this is what I'm hearing. On one hand, spirit says, I still love this person, but I've lost some love due to someone, someone that could have lied, cheated, manipulated, not told me that they were back on, you know, they got off the wagon, but they're back and secretly had, or, and or secretly had a love affair. You have to get past it. You don't have to. Don't, I don't mean it like I'm saying it to you. Spirit saying, ultimately, you will have to let this go to heal. And if you are finding new love, to tell the story, tell it straight, speak clearly about what you are witness to and or experiencing the same of addiction, addictive behaviors, whether it's cheating, whether it's not telling the full story, whether it's drinking, whether it's hiding out and drinking or hiding out and all of this is under the umbrella of what spirit has been trying to teach. And that is that health is most important. Our natural habitat is mother earth. And when we're reversed, that habitat of giving and putting in addictive substances of, and that is also substance of mental health, emotional health and wealth is affecting the whole picture. It affects the family. It affects the children. It affects every aspect. So whatever this devil upright is for you, Saggy, and or a mother, the mother of your children, your mother, you as the child, it's all encompassing here. I do want to get one card. Sorry, I thought I heard something outside. Let's look at the devil right here. Oh, gosh, your card came out. This could be you. You are trying to get back into a Leo, another, or a Leo, because Leo was very predominant here. And if it's your father with an, like an ex or a mother figure, emotionally, someone's really not, um, not sharing how they feel, not caring how they feel. Maybe this is you. You're feeling really down and out. And it could very well be about, about what has happened and not being able to shake it off. A lot of you cannot shake off what has happened. And that could be also the secret love affair or someone's secret that is the addiction. So you have to take it here however it plays out and this brings you the new beginning once you can clear this out which you're doing so that's what this is all about in order to start again with a fresh start 
you needing the blessings of that red tail hawk, which is the Holy Spirit. Needing to get out of addictive behaviors and or healing all addiction and all, you know, that instant here, this is instant gratification. Needing that instant gratification. Now, is that in the form of a new beginning? Or does this imply in the form of, I want it now, I don't care what happens, but I want it now, or I want to know that I can get a new love, or I can get better, or that I'm convincing myself. For some of you, you've convinced yourself that it's not instant gratification, that it is truly something that you know you need or want and or want more importantly. It doesn't, it doesn't exclude a relationship, but there is obvious, an obvious, um, break down still occurring in your life and the lives of maybe your parents where things from your childhood have not been healed. And now it's very clear to you that you're repeating the stuff that you were dealing with, with your mom and dad in your life growing up. Everyone wants an instant, an instant high. Well, I shouldn't say everyone, but we're dealing with that right now. This is, you know, this is, we're, we're walking into the golden age and the golden age is, is about raising a vibration to the level of, of where we come from. And where we come from is the natural order of mind, body, soul connection, the Trinity. So you know that when you're in toxic, devilish, whatever behaviors and taking stuff that is anything that alters our mind and or body is a sign that we need to heal from that, right? And some of you continue to allow this instant gratification to take precedence over what you know you're trying to get more grounded, trying to figure it out. But that will require a lot of vigilance. So when someone, you're in the presence of someone, let's just say, who's an alcoholic, right? Are you, Saggy, going to drink in front of someone who's trying to get off the drink? Do we drink in front of others who, who can't drink or whatever? Or, you know, this, this fire is, it can be a detriment or an asset. And if you have twice here. So this to me is telling me with this page of wands that, that you love that instant gratification and that that gives you, that might give you, that might be your stronghold or is holding you back. And the change is what spirit's saying you need. You need to have the, the change of, of a mindset that's not, you know, um, adhering to any addiction, but seeing it for what it is, you know, and trying to get out of it and or helping someone who is going through it, right? I hope that makes sense because this is really important. Your part, Saggy, in this, if this is you, your part is to take real hold of being really strong and not caving. And or helping others to do the same. Your Bible verses, Isaiah 41, 13. 
For I, the Lord your God, hold you hold your right hand. It is who, it is I who say to you, fear not. I am the one who helps you. And this is what Spirit is asking you, Sagis, to know that you're being guided through the hand of God and that all is not lost but forgiven. I love you guys. Have a great month. Let me know. I'm here for you. Take care.